In this video, we will go through the different write modes that are available in the DataDo platform. To help you choose the most suitable write mode, we'll walk you through each of the options. Let's get started. First, what is a write mode? It's the way you update a table when loading data to a destination. You have four main write modes, insert, upsert, insert ignore, and truncate insert. Insert simply adds all new data to your destination. It is the most common write mode. If you'd like to avoid duplicates in your data, we recommend selecting upsert. With upsert, once a record already exists in a destination, it will not be written to that destination again. This write mode just inserts new records and updates existing ones. To configure this write mode, you will have to pick at least one unique key, which represents one column. Before data is loaded, DataDo checks the data in the destination. If data with the same primary key already exists in a table, this data will be updated with the latest data associated with this key. Otherwise, a new record is inserted. Insert Ignore will load all new data to your destination, except records that are incompatible and which would therefore result in a broken flow. Lastly, Truncate Insert removes all the existing contents of a table in your destination before new data is loaded into it. This means that only the new data you're inserting will appear in the table in your destination. Double check before selecting this write mode because the changes you make are irreversible. Some data destinations only support some of these write modes. When sending data to Google Sheets, for example, you can only choose from truncate insert and insert. Most data warehouses support all four of the write modes. Keep in mind that some data destinations do not support changes to write modes. For this reason, it's highly advisable to ensure that the write mode of a flow is correctly configured during the setup phase. If you do need to change the write mode of a flow after setup, it may be best to create a new flow or simply clone the existing flow and modify the write mode of the newly created flow. If you nevertheless want to change the write mode of an existing flow, see our documentation for details. And that's it. Thanks for joining us today to learn about write modes. Be sure to check out our website at academy.datadoo.com for more courses and videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.